Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter, and bienvenidos to my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you how to cook for charity. I'm so sorry, guys, I've been gone for a while. I've been so busy with school, but in my absence, E3 happened, and during E3, we saw The Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild. The gameplay looks so much fun, the graphics look great, and there's so many new mechanics the game is going to bring. One of those new mechanics is Link has the ability to cook now, and since I love to cook and I have a cooking show, I wanted to challenge myself. I want to make every single dish in The Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild, except the one that use butterflies and crickets. I'm not that much of a savage. So I was saying, what dish could I use? What dish is the first one I want to do? And well, since we've only seen a demo, we've only known a handful of materials, I decided to do the one they did the most, and that was the meat skewers. This is a dish that you can do this summertime, and it's so easy to do, and it tastes so, so good, and it's perfect to do with your family and friends over a barbecue or even an open fire if you have the chance to do it. So without further ado, guys, let's look at the ingredients. So you're just going to need a few simple ingredients. The first thing you're going to be needing is a half a pound of skinless boneless chicken breast cut into 1 inch cubes. This is going to be your bird meat. 1 pound of beef sirloin cut into 1 inch cubes. A half a cup of whole fresh mushrooms. 2 tablespoons of fresh rosemary leaves. This is going to be your hyrulean herb. Your rock salt. 2 red bell peppers cut into 2 inch pieces. And a half a cup of honey. Now, I want to stay as true to the original recipe as I can in Breath of the Wild. However, we've only seen a demo, and we don't know all the materials we can find in-game yet. So, I don't know if these materials are going to be scattered along the lands of Hyrule. If not, just go to your local Hyrulean supermarket, and you should be able to pick them up. You're going to be needing a teaspoon of paprika, but if you want to add more, you can add more. 4 tablespoons of soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil, black pepper, and this is optional if you like onions, 1 sweet large onion peeled and cut into wedges. So that's about it. That, that's all the materials you need. And the, most of them you can find in Hyrule Field, so you can just do whatever you want to do. Take off your shirt and pants, run around Hyrule Field, and burn everything down, just like how the game's supposed to be played. Alright guys, now let's get cooking. Alright guys, now it's time to get cooking. The first thing you want to do is start adding in your vegetable oil. After that, you want to slowly pour in your honey. I gave myself a little bit extra because I like my things sweet. Next is your low sodium soy sauce. I highly recommend you get low sodium. It's going to be a little bit better for you. Then you want to start adding your paprika. I gave myself a little bit extra because I like my thing spicy. And lastly, it's your rosemary leaves. You can chop these up finely if you want, but if not, the entire leaf will do. Once you're done adding in all your ingredients, you're going to give this thing a nice whisk. Put your knife skyward and start cutting up your pepper. Make sure you seed the thing completely, so you want to cut the bottom and the top, and then cut it down the middle, and then make sure you cut out all those white wedges, and make sure you remove all those seeds. Once you're done cutting it all up, you want to start plopping them in. Now for your mushrooms, don't wash them whatsoever, because it's going to absorb that water, so just throw them in. And if you're going to do your onion, you can start cutting it up right now. So make sure you claw it open like it's your enemy's skull, and you want to cut these onions into four pieces. And you want to, after that, you want to take the top wedges of those onions. But don't throw away those onion pieces that you didn't use because they're still good, and I'm going to use them later to make a bomb ass sauce. So once you're done peeling your onion and put it up in your pieces, you want to start throwing it in your mixture. Lastly, slap down your bird meat, chop it up into one inch cubes. and throw it in your mixture. We're not done here, kiddo. Start cutting up your meat. And you want to do the same thing as you did with your bird meat. You want to cut it up in one inch cubes and throw it in. Now you want to give this thing a nice toss so everything gets that nice marinade. Add your black pepper and your rock salt. And give it one last big huge whisk. Then you want to start covering up with plastic wrap. I highly recommend you marinate it for at least 48 hours, but if not, 24 hours will do. If you're going to barbecue your skewers or use them over an open flame 30 minutes before you start cooking, soak them in water. Since I don't have a barbecue here, I'm going to throw them over the stove. Now, for your vegetables, you want to cook them for at least 10 minutes. And your chicken, you want to make sure it cooks completely through. So that's about, about 9 minutes. Your meat, however, is up to your choosing. I like my me meat medium rare, so I'm going to take it off a little bit sooner. When you see your vegetables and everything have a nice char, you know it's ready. Because it's going to have a nice taste afterwards, guys. I know you guys are going to love this. Now it's time to put your stuff on the skewer. You're going to do an onion if you want to do it, then pepper, then your meat, your mushroom, next your chicken, and then after that you're going to do your another uh, onion and then a pepper. It's 
food is going to be so juicy, guys. You can see the juice coming out of the meat. These skewers look absolutely delicious. I can't wait to dive in. Now, guys, here's my favorite part of the video where we got the taste test we just made. So I'm going to give it a quick bite. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't want to look like a stone. Let me wipe my mouth. Mm. Man. This comes together so, so well. The marinade just soaks in everything and that mushroom absorbs it so, so well. The paprika gives everything a nice spice that you would get from a spicy pepper. And the rosemary gives it the light, nice bite at the end. And this com dish comes well, so well together. This is a perfect dish for the summertime and you can barbecue with your friends and family. Guys, we got the first dish down in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and more to come and I can't wait for the full game to come out. So I highly recommend you make this dish. It is a perfect summertime treat. Once again, my compadres y mamacitas, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch this video, money is made. That money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds. Every single video I do raises money for charity. Before I begin with my whole spiel at the end of my video, I want to give a huge thank you to Smike for the win. He did my new intro. It looks absolutely great. Go check out his channel. He does all these awesome Naruto animations. And I also want to thank Glitch. You already know her. She's on my channel all the time. And she does these awesome Pokemon remixes and other music. So go check her out and give her some love also. Now, my spiel. If you guys want to see more of my videos, you can go check right over here. I've linked to all my cooking videos. And if you guys have been wondering where I've been, I've been so busy with school, and I know some of you are like, where's this schmuck with my Animal Crossing card? Well, I'm so sorry for the delay of giving out the Amiibo card to give away winners, so I'm going to start doing that again. I've just finished my semester, so I'll have time to send out the letters to you guys. I can't wait to do more of these cooking videos, and I can't wait to play Breath of the Wild, but I have a question for you guys. I'm so stumped on my next episode. I want to do Slowpoke Tale, but what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see Slowpoke tail churros or do you want to see a slow poke tail and a wine brine it's basically up to you it's not a wine brine it's a wine braise i don't know why i say brine but thank you so much guys for watching this video please share it on all the socials by doing that you're really helping me spread my message and you're helping people learn how to cook so thank you guys and as always stay positive stay beautiful and stay sexy adios